Monday, people, folk. Oh, I wonder what my hands are cold. I left my gloves in the house. I can't bother to get them now. I'm just going to have to be gloveless, I think. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's a lovely day today. It's very lovely. <clears throat> a bit croaky. No, we're not coming down with the office lurgy. Right, okay, so... What do I need to tell you about today? Well, I'm sure that you're all itching to find out whether or not I got my running shoes. So, um, you'll be pleased to know that yes, yes I did get my running shoes. Um, actually, I spoke to the um, customer service, I don't know if I told you this, but yeah, it got a hand delivered to me basically. Um, I'm trying to think whether I, whether I did my last video on like Friday after I got them or whether it was Thursday before I knew I was going to get them. I lose track. I lose track of the days. I really do. Quite often halfway through the day I have no clue what day it is. So I just have to look and think, right, okay, well I'm, I'm at, at work now. I'm going to have to it around this van. I hate him parking there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I will very often lose track of time. I'm a bit rubbish with that um, when it comes to spatial awareness in time. <laughs> Relativity. That smells kind of science fiction. I like it. So yeah, so I got my running shoes, is the upshot. I got my running shoes. So this one will not be a rant. This one will be a nice, happy, jolly, I got my running shoes. And I started my foray into the world of running. Yeah, let's put the curb because these cars are just being dicks. There you go, thank you for not waiting for me. Uh, right, yeah, that nearly turned into a rant then, but I'm not going to let it turn into a rant. No, 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 sorry. Yeah, so I got my running shoes, finally. Um, and my mum came around and stopped on Friday and we planned on doing a park run and we woke up on Saturday morning and it, well, I was kept awake in the night because of the wind. It was hellish. It was battering. I, my bedroom's in the loft and it was battering the windows and the roof and it, it, I felt like the roof was going to fall on me. Um, so I had a very disturbed sleep on Friday night and we'd been drinking. Um, the night before and then woke up it's absolutely chucking it down right, are we gonna do this we're gonna do this so yes we did it we went to Skipton Park Run for my first one and I was hoping that my first one would um, have lots of people walking back because this one wasn't about me trying to you know get a sub sub 20 apparently that's the thing now <laughs> Yeah, sub 20 minutes, 5k. Now, no, I wasn't going to do that. I don't want to hurt myself. I just wanted to see if my shoes fit and suss out what it was all about and see this cult that everyone calls it. Yeah, and, and just work it out from the back. So everyone sets off in the wind and the rain. Um, and they're pegging it already. And I'm like, okay, I thought the people were walking dogs and push chairs in the back. No, they were dogs but they were pegging it as well so it was literally just um, me and my mum at the back with the tail walker which is the thing now I know which is the person that keeps them at the back of the group so me and my mum walked it and my mum had her sticks and I walked it we did, we did fast walk and it was quite hilly and we did it in 51 minutes and there was no shame in that at all um, because actually it was a smaller field than normal because most people hadn't got out of bed. I think this weekend and last weekend with the snow filtered out the New Year's resolutioners and everyone was saying, you know, if, if you can get out there and get out of bed and go to a park run on a day like Saturday, then you'll be fine. Every All the rest of them will be absolutely fine. So I quite enjoyed it. I got to wear my new leggings and my new sports bra and all this kind of thing and my new trainers and yeah it felt, it felt like I've actually made a start now so then later on anyway um we then went to um Richmond me and my mum um, to meet a couple of uh, a couple of her friends um who are now my friends I guess <laughs> um planning a Hebridean 
cycle, cycling the Hebridean Way. So we've worked out all our stops um, and we've worked out um, where we need accommodation, where we need ferry crossings, how many miles they're cycling each day. Um, yeah, and I'm going to be crewing for that in the car with the dog, doing beach runs and stuff. That's really exciting, so that was really nice. Then I got in and the dog was going a bit stir crazy, so I decided to take her out for a big walk. I, well, not a big walk, a walk around the block, let's say, half hour. And I just got an urge to um, drop a cog and run a little bit. So that happened. I wasn't even wearing my trainers at this point. I was wearing my Converse, but I thought, no, I, I'll, I'll just do a little bit of a run. So I did a little bit of a run and then I walked again and then later on did another little bit of a run and then walked here. And the dog had no clue what was going on. I was having to drag her at one point. She's like, what? It's a dog walk, darling. A dog walk, not a dog run. Um, so yeah, I think she, yeah, she needs to get a bit fitter as well, really. But I've started, I have started. The journey has begun, my friends. It has begun. <laughs> yeah, did a massive walk yesterday as well. And um, went out, went out to a pub um, with my lovely friend Joanna. That was nice, putting the world to rights. Um, sharing tinder experiences um which is interesting because i've not really got that many more tinder experiences to share because i keep getting this error of trying to log in it won't let me in um i've tried logging in with my phone number try logging in with facebook and i get this error 40303 so every everywhere i look this error points to me being blocked or banned right so i've no idea why that would happen i'm the most inoffensive person I can think of on Tinder. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> and if someone so much as, as says something kind of jokey but double entendre and I don't know them very well, I call them on it and say, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't I don't do that. I don't talk like that. I, I only have classy conversations. So, <laughs> but yeah, I've been banned, hardcore, banned from Tinder. I think I have anyway. All, all the Google says that I've been banned from Tinder. So, oh well. I, I do feel bad. There's um, probably only one or two, maybe one, one or two people that I've kind of left behind on there that I would have liked to have carried on talking to. Are you going to go? There you go. <laughs> um, which makes me a little bit sad, but... You know, if it's not meant to be and all that, then it's not meant to be, is it? That's Dave. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Right, let's, let's go in backwards this one. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Could you go in backwards so we can drive straight out, innit? Oof. Oh, I'm missing my gloves. I really am. Can I even fit actually? I think I think that might be challenging. I think I could probably do it though. No, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go to the end actually, it's easier. Yeah, next to the next to this picanto. There we go. Yeah, he's just life life's too short to fat, isn't it? I think there's a completely full bag of Chris over there. Oh no, I think it's some it's a it's a bag of power wipes, you know, flash power wipes. Must have fell out of someone's car. Well, this is um, a strange turn up of events. It's 8.46 and I have just arrived at the car park. That's quite early, isn't it? It's quite early. When I was driving along, I noticed my bag just like fell off my passenger seat and just plopped upside down in the footwell. So maybe I'll spend the next 13 minutes now um, collecting stuff out of the footwell and putting it back in my bag. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, so yeah, to summarise, I got my running shoes. I did my first park run. I did a little bit of a hop, skippy, jumpy jog thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I'm on it. And um, and yeah, I've been banned from Tinder. That is um, that is the, the news in brief. 
this Monday the 11th of February. I hope you have a lovely Monday the 11th of February and I will probably speak to you on Thursday or Friday or some such other day yet to be decided. I'm not putting any pressure on myself but I'll try and do two this week because I don't think I did. I think my next one has to be a rant, doesn't it? It does. If you've got any ideas of what I can rant about, it might just be people. I might rant about people because I'm really easily irritated by people at the moment. So I'll have to do one about people but try and make it vague enough that people don't guess who they are, who I'm referring to, in case any people are watching. Anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go to the work. I'm going to have a good day and I'm going to see you at some point in the week. And I hope you have a lovely week. And get out there and enjoy the weather, because it's not raining or snowing or windy for once. So, you know, you've got to capitalise on that, haven't you? Go capitalise. Love you lots. See you soon. Cheerio. Bye. <laughs>